You're watching the Fantastic Four. <laughs> So we made it to Japan. Uh, we got in about 7 p.m. last night, uh, and you know it was like 4 a.m. our time, uh, at least what our bodies were saying, telling us. So we crashed, uh, slept a night, and today we're going to get out to try to work out the jet lag kinks by getting some fresh air and walking around. But we're in the Minatuku section of Tokyo, and our host is Tomomi, and this is his apartment. So just wanted to give you a brief tour of where we're staying and let you see. So as you enter the apartment, um, you'll notice something pretty typical in a Japanese household, and that is you leave your shoes at the door and exchange them for house slippers. So that's what I have on here are my house slippers. And if you turn right around, this is a small closet that we are using. Uh, to store our backpacks and our clothes and such that we brought along for the trip. And you turn right around and here is the bathroom. So you can see the toilet there. Um, there's a small, tiny little sink. And then this operates the toilet. Uh, interesting. And right here you can see you flush there's a small flush and a big flush. And then right here, this toilet has a built-in bidet. And so you can see there, uh, I have not achieved the airtime that those two figures have on my bidet flush, but uh, you know, I, I still need practice evidently. So coming out of the bathroom, you come into the main area of the apartment and to the immediate right, is a sink, a washer, and then a clothes rack. Most places we are staying do not have dryers. That's pretty uncommon. Most people air dry their clothes. So then we'll enter into the shower bath area. And that's truly what this is, is a shower bath area. You can see the, the shower head here. And the idea is that you take your shower just in this general area. There's a drain down there. I think most of us last night took our shower in the bathtub. It just find, kind of felt weird standing outside the bathtub to take a shower, but uh, I'm sure we'll get used to these little things as we go. Um, right here, this paneling, we couldn't figure out, but we finally did, uh, comes off and it lays over the tub. And then there's a panel right outside this uh, shower area that operates this, which is a spray mister, and you have your own private sauna if you do all that. Uh, this is interesting too. This, for as small as apartment that, that this is, there are control panels all over the place, uh, but this one turns on the hot water, and you can adjust your hot water temperature right on the spot, which is clever. Oh, you're welcome. Coming out of the shower area, is the kitchen area, a little galley kitchen, if you will. Uh, on the right, a pretty good sized sink, actually. A two burner stove, a little toaster oven, uh, some storage underneath that, and then uh, the microwave on top of this um, mini fridge freezer combo, which, uh, you know, here's my arm, stands below shoulder height. So uh, it's small, but it works um, and it does the job. Uh, coming out of the kitchen area, again, I talked about how this place is just hooked up with all these control panels. Uh, we don't know what half of them do, and we're afraid to touch them and find out that we've done something we shouldn't have. So we're sticking to the basics here. But let me move through the bedroom area, which is the living room area, uh, which is the family room area. So right here... This is where the girls are sleeping. It's a pull-out couch, double bed. And over here is where we're sleeping. It's actually a single bed. And you can see it's a single bed. And here are the doors that you could close the single bed off and have some privacy in your bedroom if you wanted to. 
but it also trundles out and you lay a mattress on it and you have a double bed. Over in the corner is a small closet and that is the entirety of the apartment. Um, there is a balcony right behind me here and it's it's tiny as well. I mean, there's really, you can't put lawn furniture or lawn patio furniture or anything like that out there, but you can get a sense of what it's like outside. Uh, we did some people watching uh, during the lunch hour. Uh, people were coming from their workplaces and there's a food truck down the street. Well, that's our apartment here in Tokyo. Thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. We always appreciate those. If you'd like to follow along, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button below. And if you are so inclined, we'll put our Patreon link uh, here at the end of the video. And you can go check us out on Patreon. Uh, we love our patrons and we're so grateful for them uh, supporting these videos. Other than that, uh, we plan to post about once a week, maybe twice a week. And so uh, we look forward to having you along on our family adventures. Take care and we'll see you next time. Yeah.